let me tell you something interesting if you are creating recurrence relation if you are creating recursive equation if you are recursively solving a problem then there are two ways if you are creating recurrence relation remember this point if you are recursively solving a problem recursively you are solving a problem then there are two ways what are the two ways see either you can do something in the beginning and then then let the recursion do everything agree agree with me what you can do there are two ways there are two ways if you want to create recurrence relation recursive relation if you want to create if you are solving a problem recursively if you are solving a problem recursively then what you can do there are two ways what you can do in the beginning you can do some work and then you can apply the recursion agree is this point clear in the beginning you do some work means you do some work here you do some work you do okay just do some work and then what you do then then let's 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 uh, let the recursion handle everything agree let the recursion handle everything is this point clear please tell me what you can do you can do some work in the beginning then you can apply the recursion okay then you can apply the recursion or what you can do or what you can do you can apply the recursion you can apply the recursion and you can do some work in the end agree with me you can apply the recursion and at the end you can do some work here you can do some work please tell me is this point clear see there are two ways to recursively solve a problem if you want to solve a problem recursively then what you can do there are two ways either in the beginning you do some work and then you apply the recursion or what you can do you can apply the recursion and then at the end you can do some work let's see with example now let's see this question so this is kenneth rosen exercise 8.1 question number 11 applications of recurrence relation the question is asking find a recurrence relation for number of ways number of ways to climb any stairs if person climbing the stairs can either take one stair or can take two stair at a time okay either you can take one stair at a time or you can take two stair at a time we need to find the recurrence relation and also we need to find what are the initial condition also we need to find what is what is the number of ways to climb eight stairs so this is the question let's solve it so the question is actually very simple first you tell me what are the initial conditions let's start with initial conditions remember the question is saying that you can either use one stair you can either take one stair or you can you can take two stair at a time okay at a time either you can take one stair either you can go like this okay either you can go like this means if you are here either you can go here so this is your one step okay you are taking one step or what you can do or you can do this or you can do this if you are here then you can do this this is your two step so either you can take one step or you can take two step if you uh, for example if you are tired you can take one step if you are energetic then you can take two step but the point is at any point of time at any point of time at a time at a time you can either jump one step or you can take two step very simple okay now we need to see okay let's see the initial conditions first in this question let's see the initial conditions what are the initial conditions for example tell me if you have only two stairs then how many ways are there if you have only two stairs for example let's assume this is the stair and then this is the stair okay so tell me how many ways are there if you have two stairs what is sn that is number of ways number of ways to climb n stairs okay so sn what is that sn that is number of ways to climb n stairs taking one or two step at a time okay taking taking one or two steps at a time either you can take one step at a time or you can take two step at a time taking one or two steps at a time this is your sn okay how how to climb n stairs this is sn so tell me what will be s2 what will be s2 if you have two stairs if you have two stairs stair number one stair number two if you have two stairs then either you can do like this see you can take one step then you can take one step okay if you have two stairs then you can go one comma one so either you can go one comma one very simple either you can go like this one comma one or you can directly take two steps see either you can take one comma one or you can directly take two steps so very simple i can say that there are two ways s2 will be equal to two there are two ways okay either you can take two step directly or you can take one comma one okay either you can from here for example from here either you can directly go here 
or what you can do you can go here then you can go here so very simple tell me what is s1 means you have only one stair only one stair if you have only one stair then this is the only possibility this is the only possibility so the answer will be one s1 will be one okay let's see what is s3 let's find out what is s3 so that we can understand the problem tell me what is s3 means you have three stairs so how to climb three stairs what you can do either you can see just decide either you can take one comma one comma one okay or what you can do you can take first you can take one step then you can take two step or first you can take two step then you can take one step so very simple right okay so this is your s3 so remember s3 will be equal to three so this s3 this is equal to three s3 equal to 3 because these are the these are the ways now let's see let's solve this problem for any steps we want recurrence relation the question is asking for recurrence relation so i will tell you recurrence relation but recurrence relation you can create using two ways see there are two ways to recursively solve a problem if you want to solve a problem recursively then what you can do there are two ways either in the beginning you do some work and then you apply the recursion or what you can do you can apply the recursion and then at the end you can do some work in this question i am going to apply this method so method number one in the beginning i will do some work okay i will do some work in the beginning and then i will apply the recursion in the method number one what i will do in the beginning some work i will do i will do some work i will do some work i will do and then i will apply the recursion okay and then i will apply the recursion is this point clear then I will apply the recursion. This is the method number one. In the beginning, some work I will do, then I will apply the recursion. So tell me, in the beginning, what are the work I can do? Means you have any stairs. So in the beginning, what I can do? In the beginning, either I can take one step, means when I am taking, like in the beginning, how many steps I can take? Tell me. In the beginning, how many steps I can take? Just tell me simple point. In the beginning, okay, in the beginning, how many steps I can take? Means I'm, I'm creating like this. So in the beginning, how many steps I can take? Either I can climb one stair. Okay. Either, either I can climb one stair in the beginning or what I can do or what I can do. I can climb two stair in the beginning. I either I can climb one stair in the beginning. Okay. Or I can climb two stair in the beginning. Okay. I, either I can start with one step or I can start with two step. Now you tell me how many ways are there? This S N, this is number of ways to climb any stairs. Okay, how many ways to climb any stairs? So tell me, this SN will be equal to, if I start with one, then now I need to climb N minus one stairs, right? Yes or no? If I start with one step, now I need to climb, how many steps I need to climb? I need to climb total N minus one steps. Okay, these N minus one steps I need to climb. So remember, number of ways to climb N steps, N stairs, number of ways to climb N stairs, that will be equal to, if I start with one, then I can count number of ways to climb n minus one stairs. Or, or because this, or because of this, I am getting this or, or what I can do. If I start with two steps, in the beginning, if I take two steps, then what I need to do after this, what I need to do. If I start with the two steps, then what I need to do, I need to climb n minus two stairs. I need to climb n minus two. These are the n minus two stairs. And here you have n minus one stairs. So if I start with the two steps, then I need to climb n minus two stairs. So that will be, I can say S n minus two. Okay. So this is your idea. Uh, this is the idea number one. So in the idea number one, in the method number one, what I'm doing, can you, can you see what, what I'm doing in the beginning? I'm doing some work. Either I can start with one step or I can start with the two step. Then I'm applying the recursion. Agree with me. Do you agree with me that in the beginning, I'm doing some work. Either I can take one step or I can take two step in the beginning, one step or two step I can take. Okay. After that, I'm applying the recursion. So very simple here in the beginning. If I take one step, then I will, then I need to uh, climb n minus one stairs in the beginning. If I take two steps, then I need to climb n minus two stairs. So this is the method number one. Okay. You got this recurrence relation. What is the method number two? What is the method number two? Tell me. In the method number two, what you will do in the method number two, you will apply the recursion. Okay. You will apply the recursion. You will assume that recursion has already happened. You will assume, you will assume that recursion has already happened. You will assume that already everything is done. Everything is already done. 
you just need to take care of the last step okay you just need to take care of the last step is this point clear please tell me okay in the method number two you will assume that everything is already done everything is already done means you are already on the uh, you are already here for example if these are the stairs if these are the stairs then in the method number two you will assume that you are already here let's assume you are already here okay so what you will assume in the method number two you will assume recursion has already happened now you just need to do some work at the end some work at the end this is like i can say some work some work some final work i can say the last work okay i can say this is the last work i can call it last work final work okay very simple i hope this point is clear so tell me if you have already uh, what your last work can be just tell me what your last work can be your final work your last work just tell me the last work either your last work can be one step either you can take one step or you can take two step agree agree with me see your last work just tell me what is your last work your last work can be either one step or it can be two step this is your last work okay if you are doing this last work means how many steps you have already climbed if you are doing this last work if this is your last work this is the final last work it means how many stairs you have already climbed n minus one yes or no see if this is your last work if this is your last work then it means you have already climbed n minus one stairs you have already climbed n minus one stairs and you just need to climb one step okay you just need to take one step or what you can do or what you can do if you if this is your last work then tell me what you have already done if this is your last work then how many stairs you have already climbed tell me that is equal to s n minus 2 that is n minus 2 right that is n minus 2 so i can simply say that your recurrence relation will be like this so both the methods did you understand see very simple point i am telling you there are two methods there is method number one for writing recurrence relation there is method number two for writing recurrence relation method number one is like this you do first work you do first work you do first work and then you apply the recursion okay you do some work in the beginning and then you can apply the recursion is this point clear you can do the first work you can do the first work initially in the beginning you can do some work and then you can apply the recursion then recursion will handle everything okay or what you can do or what is method number two in the method number two let's assume recursion has already done recursion has already handled everything this recursion has already handled everything you just need to do some last work you just need to do some last work i hope this point is clear interesting right so there are two ways method number one for writing recurrence relation here also you are writing recurrence relation in the method number two one also you are writing the recurrence relation and here also you are writing the recurrence relation but there are two ways in the method number one you can assume that i will do some work in the beginning and then recursion will handle everything in the method number two let's assume recursion has already handled everything recursion is already over now i need to do some last work so these are the two, two methods and we have seen both of them okay in the method number two your answer will be your recurrence relation will be this and same same recurrence relation you will get in method number one so whether you apply method number one or you apply method number two that is your choice ultimately what is sn sn means how many ways to climb n stairs that is equal to sn minus one plus sn minus two if i start with one step then sn minus one if i start with the two step then sn minus two okay so very simple this is your recurrence relation and you already know the initial conditions your initial condition s1 is one and s2 is equal to three sorry s2 equal to two okay so these are the initial conditions now you can easily find what is s3 so s3 will be equal to what s3 if i put if I put n equal to three, then that will be equal to S three equal to S two plus S one. So that will be equal to S two plus S one. Okay. And that is three. What is S four? What is S four? That is S three. That is S three plus S two. That will be five. What is S five? That will be S four plus S three. That will be eight. What is S six? That will be S five plus S four. That will be 13 and so on. You can like this, you can count. Okay. You can, you can do it. 
Okay, you can do it. The question is asking S8. What is S S7? S7 is summation of these two. That will be 21. And what is S8? That will be summation of 21 plus 13. That will be 34. So how many ways to climb eight st stairs? How many ways to climb eight stairs? That will be 34. This is your answer. Now, let me tell you one thing. One thing, let me tell you. That is, see, I told you two methods for writing recurrence relation. Agree? Writing recurrence relation. Whenever you are writing recurrence relation, whenever you are writing recurrence relation, then I told you two methods. If you are writing the recurrence relation, I told you there are two methods. There are two methods. Either you can use method number one or you can use method number two. Okay. In the method number one, remember this is actually important. In the method number one, what you can do? You can do some work in the beginning. In the beginning, some work you will do, or I can say it's like you will do some first work. Some work you will do in the beginning, then the recursion will happen. Then the recursion will start. Okay. You do some work in the beginning, then recursion will start. In the method number two, the recursion will happen. The recursion will happen. The recursion will happen. And then you will do some work. Then you will do some last work. I can say, okay, you will handle the last work. So here you are handling the first work and here you are handling the last work. Okay. In this method, number one, you handle the first work and recursion will handle the remaining in the method. Number two, recursion will handle the initial part and you will handle the last work. You only have to handle the last work and the recursion will handle the remaining. So I told you two methods. Let me tell you one thing. In some questions, method number two, you will apply. In some questions, method number one, you can apply. In some questions, both of them, you can apply. Is this point clear? Please tell me. In some questions, in some problems, method number one, you can apply. In some problems, method number two, you can apply. And in some problems, you can apply both of them. In the previous problem, when you are climbing the stairs, you can apply both of them, right? You can apply method number one also, method number two also. Agree? But let me tell you, there are some questions, there are some problems where only this method you can apply. You cannot apply this. In some problems, only this you can apply. You cannot apply this. I hope this point is clear. Please tell me. So that is the reason I am telling you two methods. Okay, but both are very similar to each other. But in some problems, this will be useful. This will not be useful. In some problems, this will be useful. This will not be useful. In some problems, both of them are useful.